as Kaysen Wallace in the starting five in place of Shea Gildas Alexander, who of course is out tonight with the spray knee. There's Chad Holmgren, first shot of the game, put it right over the top of Kevon Looney. Well, and that's the MO for the Warriors now. We, we know that. The, the, the problem with that is can you stop it? Can the other 29 teams stop that? A nice little backdoor cut and finish by Kaysen Wallace. And had enough of a soft touch to get that one to bounce in. There is Holmgren from the outside. High walking three. He's got himself another one. And no protesting there from Dort. So it'll be three free throws as Chet Holm. Back outside. As Dort got around the screen. Didn't take the shot. So now it's Holmgren. Both trying to set up Giddy on the baseline. Someone's going to have to take a shot. And there is the three from Lou Dort in the corner. Watching the Warriors to, to you know, switch and make decisions after they switch. Wallace, too much speed, went right around Wiggins, back to the rim, another soft touch right off the glass. There's another guy not playing like a rookie, okay, he's just saying, look, all right, okay, I know this guy here, he's won a couple of titles. Too. Just enough of a ball fake, got Williams out of the way. Joe sets it up right over the top to Wiggins on the backside. This is what we're talking about. He's playing with above the rim energy. Just an instant playmaker. Misic, no look pass, and Wiggins on the backside. Oh, there's a great contest right at the rim. Good no call by the officials, too. Contact, not a problem. Wiggins steps into it, and Wiggins off the bench, maximizing his minutes. And How about this? Look at Jane. Okay, good defense, disciplined defense, and then pushing the ball up the floor. That's six foot ten, folks. And a playmaker. That's Clay Thompson stepping back in, too. You have to be aware of him on the floor now. Another lethal three-point shooter. And there is Mitzic, already knocked down a three. Now he's got a two. Well, Kamiga was shielding him out, and he had him on his backside. He just went, didn't think he was still there. Ball green, ball fake, and it takes it right to the rack. Operating at a high efficiency clip. Yeah, look at this play right here. Takes a little contact, you know. One, one of the keys to this game is going to be which team can start putting together strong stretches of defense. In which Draymond was just basically out of control after he lost the basketball. Dort trying to turn the corner and does so. Had to step right by Clay Thompson. 55% Dort shadow with those three fouls. So he's got that in his offensive game. Rudy trying to keep. Jalen Williams underneath the rim, he's got it back after the turnover, and Jalen Williams using that big body, bounces right off the contact. Up. How about this, just you know, power move. You, you talk about a power play in, in hockey. With four and change, left to go here first half. This match, J-Dub decides to ship it outside, Isaiah Joe splashes home that three. Don't forget about what he can do offensively here too with the ball in his hands. J-Dub, little side step, little crossover, not a problem. Worked his way right to the cup. Oh, it was a quick run here, quick punch thrown by Oklahoma City, sparked by J-Dub. How about that move? He may have fooled himself on that play. Big mismatch here, Holmgren. Oh, guy, the side just appears to step and Curry on the block. But Holmgren oh, set the pace here, first couple possessions. Oh, smart. What about Draymond? Is Draymond a mid-range shooter? Not just, at all. Not at all. He's just strictly a three-point shooter. Outside, it's Holmgren. Had the feet set and rattles home the three. No way for that contact. That double team was coming from the opposite end. And, and just showing his skill set. The Thunder are getting downhill and getting in the lane because of the big ball handlers of Giddy and Dort. As Dort, once again, steps behind the tape as he finds his stroke from deep. Everybody loves to have that big that can distribute the basketball and be a playmaker from the outside. One thing that Draymond Green has been doing his entire career. Dort already three for three from deep, make it four for four. Picked up number four. That's, nice four too. that's, that's one you practice Huge. and practice a lot of times. Translated over to the game. That's Mr. Lou Dort. Holmgren spinning on Wiggins. Nice up and under. What a move by the rookie. This is old school. This is a new school player, though, folks. That's a, I'm telling you, that, that's a Pete Newell basketball camp. He taught all the big men for a long time. The up and under. Just bust out of this third quarter with a whole lot of physical play and energy on the offensive end.
the Thunder been doing? Just driving invariably. Invariably. Dort. Tough one. Got it up over Looney. Lou Dort has caught fire. Up early in the first quarter. And how about Lou Dort even over Looney? That is just to not break the form. It's just so impressive. There is Dort continuing the perfect night with the end one. He's eight for eight from the floor. The spy ball game. This time, just a laser of a pass. He's got 21. J Dub right to the rack. Had the step for the jam. Once again, nails a three. J Dub underneath, outside. Dort trying to stay perfect. Gives Curry his move. And hits again. Lou Dort says, check this out. I can do it too. Just knows when to step up his game when you're down a man. j Dub, little hesitation, plus the foul. They're pouring it on. Oh, they're doing a good job of exploiting those mismatches. Not allowing the Warriors to set up any of that zone defense. So a 37-point quarter, which is the highest-scoring quarter for the Thunder so far this year. Trying to add to it. Meets it on the baseline. Oh, and the rebound right into the hands of J-Dub. I mean, come on. This is the NBA. This is like, here's the play right here, man. He's in the right spot. And if he's a Thunder right now, they're applying a lot of pressure out front. So you have to really seal your man. Be able to not let them get that. That's going to be an and one. Oh, it's going to count. I was saying it. No, actually, he only took two steps. Looked a little bit awkward, but... Kaminga is going to foul Giddy. That's two in a row. Another and one. When they put the ball on the deck and you see that lazy rake from Wiggins. Yeah, it, 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 yeah it's just throwing a lot of bodies at the glass. If they're going to do that, and, and the Thunder, you get that rebound, you can go out and transition. There is Giddy again with the left hand. Giddy going right back to the success that he has had. Isaiah Joe lets it fly. Counted it a foul. The three counts the foul on Moody. How about this? He's, watch the follow through. Yeah, he made contact with him. He was really late getting there. I mean, real late. Makamingo to get that shot over. Chad. Giddy. Just totally feeling it here in the fourth quarter. It all on the floor in terms of distributing, creating offense as well. He is really helping. And the points flowing. Isaiah Joe, same spot, and he splashes home. Yet another three. I mean, real late. And that's back-to-back -back quick fouls on Moody type of game that has been. Neither team has had a double-digit lead. As Chris Paul will defend the rookie, Casey Wallace spins away. Wallace got inside and somehow had enough elevation to get it home. So fitting in, Mark Dagnall has complimented him in the way that he has fit in, particularly in the offensive end, but that's an offensive play. Something's got to call you on. That's a lot of confidence, too. And Williams trying to give it up. Casey Wallace. The drive, oh, and the rookie, the pretty move and finish now on back-to-back -back play. Chris Paul on the floor defending J-Dub. J-Dub on the drive, off balance, contorted his body, and still got it up off the glass. Obviously, as consequential and pernicious of a call as you will ever find on the floor as Giddy heaves it up. And obviously, with 0.2 seconds, you can't do anything about it. You can just hope for the tip. And clearly, an upset and stunned crowd here inside Paycom Center on what was just a shocking ruling from the officials on that final play.